goes on to prove that I'm my brain is going into sleep mode. All right. Let's get into it. This customer brought this computer in because it was not powering on. So at the front counter, I just did a quick test and determined it to be the power supply. This is a Sky Tech gaming computer. And it was under warranty and is no longer under warranty. So let's get this power supply replaced. It is using a deep cool, it's at 850 watt deep cool power supply. And we're gonna be replacing that with a Corsair RM850X. I mean, you can see how, like I'm gonna have to do like a full cleaning on this. This thing is in not amazing shape. I'm gonna go outside, turn my compressor all the way up and then blow it out. It's a joke, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so here's what we're looking at as far as the rear cable stuff. Get this out. Yeah. You know that if your filter looks like a Wookiee, you done effed up. All right, let me go turn my compressor on. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. So, undoing a manufacturer's careful work is step one. I don't know how careful it was, but undo that, undo this zip tie, undo that, undo that zip tie, let me get this unplugged, that's out, power supply to the GPU. So we're going to at least need two SATA connectors on this. Yeah, no, that's not exactly 100% true. More than likely, if it is your son, he's just trying to get a, an upgraded video card. Which is fine. Power supply cable. Yeah, your VRAM, like there's got, like typically when it comes to um, low FPS in a game, it's a combination of things. Like it's a combination of the resolution he's playing at, like the age of the video card, the amount of memory, the CPU. Like it's it's not just one thing. I mean, there it can be just one thing, but generally low FPS is a contribution of multiple things uh, contributing to the low FPS in whatever you're doing. All right. So that's all the cables for the power supply out get our new power supply out. So like if you if you were to take the like the fully post like inf take the stats and hardware of the computer like the full list post them here we could probably identify a bottleneck if there is one. All right, power supply cables. All right, so back to this. We have video card, motherboard, video card. Then I need one SATA. And then I need the CPU. 
I'm going to pull out both CPUs. I think I only needed the one previously, but the way that they do it, I think I'm going to need both of them. So, all right, let's get these cables set off to the side. First things first. Yeah, they're in QuickBooks right now. All right, yeah, so only I need both. Technically, and I guess this is your tech tip for the day. If your motherboard has both of these connectors, very rarely do you actually need to use both of them. Typically, you just need to use power connector one. Power connector two is if you're doing overclocking and, and the CPU is gonna be pulling a significantly large amount of voltage that is dangerous to put on a single rail. The additional rail allows you to feed additional voltage into the computer without like putting a strain on the actual cables. That's what that second one is for. You don't always need it. Hey, editing Chris here. Comment about this because a lot of people got upset about this. If your motherboard manufacturer requires it for certain CPUs and you have the right CPU and you have the right motherboard and the book that your board, motherboard came with or the online guide, whatever says, hey, you need to use both sockets use both sockets like it is very very specific not every motherboard requires it not every cpu requires it so if you have a very low-end cpu and a high-end motherboard good chance you're not going to so there you go bet you 20 bucks tech isn't here right now All right, one cable in, pulled out the back. All right, next we'll do our 24. Same deal, we're gonna go, gonna feed it in here. Just gently, as I use a hammer, just Flippity flip. And we're gonna go up and over. That's in there. Okay, a next video card. We're gonna use that same cable management hole. We're only going to need one video cable. I'm going to go through the same management hole. This is not a triple, this is only a double. All right. So we've technically reduced the number of cables in the PC. Here's another tech tip. If you've ever wondered if you have to have separate cables for your GPU, if your GPU only requires two connectors, uh, the old style connector, not the new style connector, you can use a single cable that has two connectors on it. You can't use a single cable with a, with a splitter, but you can use a double cable with, a, with this connector on it. These cables are designed to handle this. The video cards can pull enough power. So go ahead, take your shot. Hello. I would like to ask if the 7800X3D the and RTX 4070Ti will give you stable to little drops with 1080p. Yeah, absolutely. I'm about to build one of those. Like literally that. It's sitting right there. Yeah, there's no reason to do it. And thank you for the follow. Absolutely no reason to use two cables if you don't have to. You can do it if it makes you feel better. I'm doing God's work here. I'm doing this, pe this guy's peels. All right, so those are the front cables hooked up. Now let's install our power supply. We got 
CPU. 360 should be, yeah. It's still gonna be hot, but it's not gonna be that bad. If it was a 240, I would say no. Okay, that's fine, I'll do it. And then lastly, we are we need to plug in this SATA cable for some of his, uh, some of the accessory management. We're not even gonna cut the cable ties on here. Just leave them on there. One, two, three, four. All right, let's do a quick power on before we install the second NVMe. Make sure everything's working. All right, and look at that. Weren't getting that at all before. It's actually nice, I like, the, I like the blue and the white. Ooh, and these fans got some good bearings. See how long they spun? All right, nextly, let's go ahead and install M dot chisel. All right, we're installing a two terabyte M.2. Now the real question is going to be whether or not I have a screw for this. I have to use my, I have to use my uh, my thin boys here. All right, that's in there. HDMI plugged in. Controls. Yeah, so there's two there's two of them. One is explaining these cables, the other one is explaining these cables. Powered on, switch our inputs. Let me call this guy, get this guy's pin, add the drive, and then get this thing out of here. I'm gonna also do a speed test on the Wi-Fi and see what we're getting, because he was complaining about slow Wi-Fi. All right, let's get this shut down. crazy how quiet this thing gets after being shut off like these fans are just like i said they're just churning at 100 percent all right front glass you know what i'm forgetting this step goes on to prove that i'm my brain is going into sleep mode i need to attach these cables to something yeah well i'll do those here in a second i just i completely forgot to do the cable management on this because my brain my brain is going like you need to move you need to move. Come on. Ugh. Oh, this should. I put this on upside down? No. I'm kidding something. There we go. There's that. There's that. That moved out of the way. <clears throat> Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you wanna learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.